morning. Well, you're sure in a good mood. And what's with the tie? I just got a call from the TV station. They just had a guest cancel on them, so they're bringing me on today to talk about my new book. And the slow death of journalism continues. Oh, Michael, I'm so proud of you. Why, thank you, Anne. But first I'm heading down to the park for that statue dedication thing. Is that today? I still can't believe the city is putting up a statue of Elijah Craig. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure someone will find a reason to remove it soon enough. Really, Jarvis? What's so controversial about Elijah Craig? Oh, please. A Baptist minister inventing bourbon whiskey? That's bound to piss off somebody. Did he really invent bourbon? I always heard that was just a myth. Well, he did make bourbon back in the day. But was he the first? I guess there's no actual proof. I see what you did there. Why don't you take Jarvis with you? He would love a trip to the park. Thank you, though, but my schedule is booked. I have a full day of barking at random noises that I've heard thousands of times, but yet they still frighten me. You should come, Anne. It'll be fun. No, I can't, Michael. I'm showing houses most of the morning, but I'll catch up with you later. Perfect. Well, if you need me, I'll be in Georgetown. When you think of Georgetown, many things come to mind. We are home to one of the largest automobile manufacturing plants in the world. We boast some of the finest thoroughbred horse farms in the world. We also proudly lay claim to one of history's greatest men, Reverend Elijah Craig, who invented bourbon whiskey right here in the very spot that I stand today. Oh, give me a damn break. Elijah Craig didn't invent bourbon. That's just what the media wants us to believe. The media? What are you talking about, Nathan? Everybody knows bourbon was invented by George Washington. How do you think he got them boys across the Delaware? They were all hopped up on red liquor and ready for a fight. I'm pretty sure that's not right. Hey, whatever you want to believe. Whatever fits your narrative. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Hey, guys. Hi, Rodney. Good to see you, but what are you doing here? I thought that you had moved to Texas. Yeah, I did. I flew in for the statue dedication. As the city's foremost bourbon connoisseur, I felt that I should be here for this historic moment. Now, without further ado, I present to you the Honorable Elijah Craig. What the hell? Well, it's not that bad. Are you kidding me? That thing's uglier than homemade soap. Gentlemen, gentlemen, so good to see you. Well, what do you think of our statue? Splendid, Mr. Mayor. Simply splendid. It looks great, Mayor Prather. I can safely say that I've never seen anything like it. Indeed, indeed. It does look awful good. Hmm. More awful than good, but whatever. Thank you, gentlemen. We certainly spared no expense. It took nearly a year to build and cost over one hundred thousand dollars. A hundred grand? Hell, I could have built that thing for ninety bucks. The statue is glorious. Simply glorious. Just look at it. The statue! Where is the statue? Today's episode of Georgetown the Animated Series is brought to you by the Georgetown Post Office. We might lose your package, we might not. Hell, your guess is as good as ours. Save a lot grocery store. We won't screw up your ClickList order because we don't have ClickList. Pepe's Mexican Restaurant. Stop in today for one of our tasty margaritas. It's 2020. You might as well drink. And A-List Salon. Sure, you have to walk up a lot of stairs to get here, but it's worth it. Find the perfect gift for any occasion at The Carriage House. Celebrating over four decades of serving Georgetown, The Carriage House offers a variety of fresh flowers, silks, gifts, candles, and more. Stop by and see Karen, Kevin, and Sassy Boots today. That sucks about the statue. I hope they find it. Don't worry about it. It's like a good bottle of whiskey. It'll turn up eventually. Who steals a statue anyway? I don't know, and I don't care. Aren't you the least bit curious? Don't you want to know who's responsible for this? I'll tell you who's responsible 
a desperate man. There ain't nothing more dangerous than a desperate man. You ever look at a desperate man in the eye? A man like this has no soul, no moral compass. He's got a fire in his belly and a hole in his heart. He's put on this earth to cause strife and nothing more because he's a desperate man. Or it could just be some kids fooling around. Hell, you never know. Well, Anne, of the houses you showed me today, this one is definitely my favorite. Mine too, Mrs. Paget. And you're okay with the big window next to the walk-in shower? Your neighbors might get a look of you getting in and out of the shower. Oh, I'm not worried about that. They'll only look once. Perfect. I'll head back to my office and write up the offer. And I'll give you a call a little later to firm up the details. I bet you're excited. Honey, at my age, I'm excited just to wake up in the morning. Hey, what's up? Not much. Just on my way to that interview. How's your day so far? Pretty good. I've written one offer so far today, and I'm getting ready to write another. Congratulations. It's time you get a nickname. You know, for your next marketing campaign? No. How about Awesome Ann? Absolutely not. Buying or selling? She can help. She's Ann with a plan. So, how was the statue thing? All right, I suppose. I was there for a little while, but I didn't stick around. Come to think of it, neither did Elijah Craig. What? I'll explain later. Love you. And there you have it, the brand new book from best-selling author Michael Crisp. Michael, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you. Are we clear? So, did you hear about the statue getting stolen today at the park? Yeah, I was actually there. Crazy stuff. Crazy indeed. <laughs>